Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and prevent the PS4 updates as well as the game update notifications from popping up. I know they can get very annoying. This does not require any DNS servers or any payloads, though I do recommend keeping the DNS server. Uh, if you're using Alizifs, go ahead and keep on using that as well as using the payload uh, disable updates. Just in case anything does happen, uh, this isn't 100% foolproof, but it does prevent that silly notification from popping up. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and get logged in here. And once we do get logged in, we'll need to go with the jailbreak. Uh, I have Carl's host all set up, so we'll go ahead and just launch it. Give it a few moments here, and it should pop up with the message to insert our USB. Okay, and once it does, we'll insert our USB. And we'll just wait for the unsupported file system notification to pop up. And once it does, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And the jailbreak is done. So we can go ahead and remove our USB and hit OK. And from here, we'll go with the latest goal 10, which is 2.2. Okay, and once that's loaded, we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Now, if we jump up to our notifications, um, you can see that there is a system software error there. If we go ahead and just delete that out of there for now, um, the notification that I'm talking about is if we go ahead and launch any game, it doesn't matter which one, we get the notification to update the game as well as the notification to update the system software. Um, this could be very annoying, and if you're not paying attention and you don't have the the payload there um, and you go ahead and restart after it's done downloading it can possibly get installed um, so let's go ahead and just close out of the game and then we'll go into our notifications we'll just delete them out um, I do have the payload installed to disable updates as you can see it cannot download because it's blocking it but yet the game is still downloading which is very annoying to, to have to come in here each time so we'll go ahead and cancel them out and delete them. Now if we go over to system and we go down to system software update. Now it doesn't matter if you do this method or not. This way we'll still download the file. Um, so it's not 100%. Um, that's why I do recommend having Alizif's DNS is still installed or st still set up as well as the disable payloads. But yeah, let's go ahead and just jump back over here and we'll delete that out. And what we're going to do is come over to our settings. And we'll go down to our debug settings. And we'll go into the PlayStation Network. And then our, net, our NP environment is the one that we need to change. So it's set to NP. Um, now there's multiple things. You can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. Um, I tried just ES for Echo Stretch and that works as well. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go ahead and just type in SP and dash INT. Go ahead and hit R2 for done. Now it does require a system restart, so we'll go ahead and hit OK and I will skip ahead. Okay, so once we do get rebooted, we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, jump back in here again. Um, I will show you that it doesn't matter if you have the jailbreak done or not. If we go into settings, go to system software update, doesn't matter, it's still going to pop up and come. Um, it doesn't block the actual Sony servers at all, it just prevents the notification from popping up every time you launch a game. So we'll go into our notifications and we'll just delete that out for now. And then we'll go ahead with the jailbreak again. And we'll just give it a few moments here to pop up with the message to insert our USB. Shouldn't take long, any moment now. Okay, seems to be, there we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll wait for the unsupported file system to pop up. Okay, and once that does come up, we'll hit OK. And then from there, the jailbreak is done. We can go ahead and unplug our USB and hit OK. And the same as before, we'll go with the latest goal 10, which is 2.2. And then once it does load up, we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. 
So if we go ahead and launch a game now, you will see that the game does load up and there's no actual annoying pop-up saying system software being downloaded or any game update being downloaded. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Just want to jump on, show you that there method. The option is there. You can go ahead and change it. Um, but I do recommend keeping the payload for disable updates as well as keep the uh, DNS servers that you're currently using. If you're using Alizifs to block the Sony servers, go ahead and keep on using that. This is just another method. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.